for today because we are finally going to play Convergence. I have tried it already uh, during the massive Convergence event in London that Ride Forge and Double Stalin were kind enough to send me and Johnny to, but I didn't actually get to play the game because by the time that I got back uh, from the trip, I had so much stuff that I had to upload and edit that I just couldn't hop on the hype of Convergence. So uh, I'm uh, like a five day uh, gameplay late, uh, but I hope that's gonna be fine. Hope that's fine. Um, so yeah, someone said something about my, uh, my wrist. Uh, that's something that we got at the Convergence event. Uh, and it's a, uh, a snap wrestling. So you just do that. All 90s kids know what this is. <laughs> we are going to basically play the game. I have not played it. I only played a little bit of like the third level and I got to play against one of the bosses, which is Warwick. Uh, took me six tries to figure out how to fight against Warwick, uh, but the second time I tried during MSI uh, finals, I won against him in one try. So, may or may not be a pro now, uh, we don't know. <laughs> let's, uh, let's hop into the game. I haven't even opened it yet. I have no idea what to do, what it looks like, uh, and if my screen is going to be compatible. So, uh, we have chat, everything's working, everything looks fine. Great! So, this is epic. This is cool. Hello. We are going to go into Zon and we're going to be exploring Zon and we're going to meet all the cool people from Zon playing as Echo. If that's not hype enough, I don't know what is. <laughs> Fun fact, but I have absolutely no fucking idea how to play uh, Echo in League of Legends, but Maybe after this I'll be able to do that because last time that I played uh, the Mage Seeker and I played Silas and then I went into a game, I went 10 and 0. I'm going to be playing with my controller because uh, Double Stallion said that this is like the best way to be playing the game. Right off the bat, the music is absolutely incredible. We are in hype mode. So I'm going to say it right now. I don't know how they're going to go around with the lore. I'm worried that we're going to kind of push more into the arcane area and retcon other champions because I know the narrative team is currently trying to like combine all the lore across Runeterra. So I'm worried about what they're going to do with the champions. Uh, some I will probably agree with, some of it probably not. I'm really excited, but I'm also really worried and I hope that there's not gonna be too many changes. So yeah, let's fucking go. So we got balanced, we got heroic, and we got legendary. I am definitely not legendary. I am on heroic. And also fun fact, uh, something that I learned from uh, the devs at uh, Double Stallion when, when I was at the event is that the bosses and gameplay are different uh, between like heroic and legendary in a sense that like you see different things in it. So if you want to have like the full experience of like different characters within this game, you'll have to go into legendary as well. So yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Captain Flowers is probably gonna do it because Clayton was there and that's exactly what he said. That's his favorite thing in the world. And oh my God. Nuts on max diff? God damn it! <laughs> but how did- how hard it is really though? How, how hard are we talking? Because like, I'm really worried here. The game is significantly harder than Mage Seeker. I played both on hard. Well, I know that you finished Mage Seeker on hard, but... Convergence is harder than Mage Seeker? My guy, don't tell- no. <laughs> don't say that to me. <laughs> I do have some experience though. So I know that I can parry with W, everyone, parry with W, okay? And you got right trigger to do like little light skips. Enemy aggressiveness, medium, okay. Trivis, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Echo's health. 
Do I fuck around with it? Am I gonna be a pussy and like make everything so much easier? Do I uh do I keep it as is and suffer or like? <laughs> uh... Okay, fine, fuck. We're gonna keep it the way it is. Are you kidding, Brzezinko? I can't even play him. Like, okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. You guys- Ah, my boy! Ah! <laughs> oh yes, it's Eggman! We love Eggman. <laughs> oh my god, Jesse and James would make it Zon. Everything is so pretty! I love purple with green. It just looks so good. Hey, yo! Let's go underground terrorism. My favorite. <laughs> that spire just exploded out of nowhere. I'm gonna run. Oh, we're running. Okay. Uh, I was supposed to meet Lim up here. I hope he's okay. I'm so happy we have voice acting. And I don't need to do the voice acting myself. <laughs> Even though, like, both me... And uh, and you clay, right? You also like voiced hey, everything. This is our rooftop. You can't be here. It's about to get smashed by a falling spire if we don't all get out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out. Oh yeah. You're gonna have to fight us if you want to get by. Oh my god. Zong logic. <laughs> Oh my god. I love the coin sounds. I love how we're starting with chaos. Like in the Mage Seeker, it was like Demacia burning down. And now we're in Zon and everything's burning down. I love it! Just an average day in Zon. <laughs> Good, I'm glad that we agree. <laughs> Lim! Lim, oh, I'm coming shit. to get you. Poor baby! Uh, how do I, how do, um... Oh, idiot, A. <laughs> I love how I'm like trying to figure out on my own instead of reading the instructions. <laughs> do I go, okay. Ow. <laughs> okay. Hey, Lim, can you hear me? Echo, I'm scared. My baby! I'm here. We protect. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't do that. Okay. We're gonna find another way around. Don't worry. Okay. Cool. 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 Find a round or a broken bridge. Why can't I just like need a way to get around? Jump. <laughs> like you know how when like you see the art and you're like in your head you're like no but like I see the pipe it's like right there if I jump I could actually make it. Let me retrace my steps. Okay, we're retracing our steps. Oh okay. Jump and press right trigger. Let's be a path around. <laughs> now. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. You know what? I don't have time for this. Chrono break! We're chrono breaking! Hey yo! Wait a goddamn minute! We didn't have that last time! <laughs> no, 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 no. We had a. Uh, we had. We had a. Uh, no? Okay, there we go. Can you hold me out of here? I always do. Babe! Oh, we need to watch. Thank you so much, Echo. You know I'd help anyone in trouble. Um, Maybe. I have to tell you something. You know how you let me borrow your time winder? Yeah. I lost it. Well, oh, it no. Stolen. This kid with a giant hammer pushed me around and took it. No! Back, Lim. You should run back to the hideout. It's dangerous out here. Thanks, Echo. You're the best. Oh, my God. God damn it, Lamb, you had one job! Ooh. 
cool. Oh my god. I'm going to be a little sewer rat, aren't I? Maybe that way Silas would love me. All right. Iron and glass. City of iron and glass. I love the walk. Just walking. We're not we're not in a hurry or anything. We're just uh we're just vibing. <laughs> Never mind. Wait, wait, let, let's do that again. Uh, we're just vibing. Oh, why are there crows around here? Swain, is that you? Ooh, we got a note. Right, I wanted to, I wanna. Ooh. Divination services. Some drudge. Dredgemancy. Choose an object hand selected from the depths of the sump and ruin of Oshravazon, which calls you. Manifest your desires into existence. 15 cogs. Cartomancy. Seek wisdom from the spirits of Runeterra using ancient, long forgotten cartoman cartomantic techniques. Reveal unseen patterns in your life's path. Let the cards guide you. Wait, that's like. That's like Tara reading. I'm so up for that. Smog charts, readings, ebbs and flows. The gray at the time of your birth define your identity, your career, and your love life. Are you a stubborn child of the radiation smog or an ad advective creative dreamer? Consult Madame Mysteriax and learn what Jana's winds of fate have planned for you. Hey, that is so cute. So, uh, how do I? Uh, I assume that I'm not supposed to be running up this fog. <laughs> yeah, that was- that was correct. Can I just walk through that alleyway? Like, hello? <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> JESUS! Hello? Okay. Wow, my hands are so sweaty. Anyway, where were we? Hey, Whoa! yo! It even feels more powerful. Ah, I know just who to try this out on. Hey, are you the ones that pushed Lim? Who took the time winder? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. What's it to you? What are you doing with all that orange stuff? Pop some of that orange crystal crap from the spire into the chamber of my armor and whoosh! Ah, it's gonna be good! Is it some kind of Hextech crystal? Those aren't usually orange. I don't know, and I don't care! All that matters is it works! Hammer time! Enemy glows red, their next attack cannot be dodged. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I don't mind her bullying me for shit, you know? You don't need to bully Lim. Okay. Scary Janet is not that scary, you know? I thought she'll be a little more scarier. Nice. Time winder. I remember this little shit. Feels good to have my time winder back. Can't let good tech fall into bad hands. Now I'd better head into the market hub. Make sure everyone's okay. Um, that's what we buy. Yep. I remember this from the. Oh, cool. Hey, we did it! <laughs> Oh shit! The black no! You guys, I really don't want to fight. See, if you don't fight, you don't get hit. Huh? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What am I looking at? Hey yo! Okay. Uh, busy day for the rising hell. Yes, that just happened. Cool. Okay, cool. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. 
<laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, I got this. I got this, I got this, you guys, I got this, I got this. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Stop! I'm trying to be cool here. We got this. Hey, look how cool this is. Uh, what is this greenery outside, though, is what I want to know. Karina Baraza? Is that you, bestie? Can I just kill you? Oh. But wait, there's more! Why are there so many of you? Oh, there we go. Oh my god! Oh, who's that? Kaleido Kaleido salt. Okay, we're gonna back back to Ellie. Ellie's gonna hook us up with something cool. Okay, cool. Whee! I like the little birds. They're so cute. I like little fishies. Ew. How are you? Oh shit. Okay. Uh, you do that. Uh, I need to just like get away from you. You're like, we're just cousin. No! The blood! Stop! I'd rather have explosive diarrhea than deal with these explosions. Like, please. Not this again! There's just so much going on, dude. I'm just here for the story. No! You know, normal things. Go through Zon, kill a bunch of kids, uh, and keep going with your day. <sighs> you know what this reminds me of? If you like this vibe, but you also like 8-beat type of games, uh, I recommend you Virtuverse. <laughs> no! <laughs> cool! <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Can I just have a normal moment here? It's like that one Mario game that no matter what you do, there's something waiting for you to just fuck you up. Okay, we didn't die this time. I did it! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Hey, yo! In my opinion, the parkour traversal in the game is one of the best things. No, no, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I'm just shit. <laughs> because I'm trash, I get triggered. You know, it's kind of like uh, League of Legends and Silver Players. <laughs> This is so fucking pretty. Do you understand how cool it is how Zon has adapted their shit to be able to have some sort of nature even though like everything's fucking trash? Like that is so sick. Always something to see in Entrasol. For real. Entrasol is like the the higher uh, the higher level of uh, of Zon cuz there's like several levels to it. So it's like where they kind of have sunlight. Like this is like where they actually get some sunlight. So they are like looking for ways to basically like make it work. This is what it looks like. So this is the promade. This is where basically we have some sort of the lighting. The light still kind of hits here as you can see, but then the lower you go, the worse it gets. Like this is, this is where Zan suffered the most from like the actual explosion. Isn't the stumps where Orgot was thrown? Yep. That's where Orgot was thrown, that's where Vi grew up. That's where the orphanage is. Just for you to realize how fucked up it is. There's a whole fucking orphanage down there. So, and powder. The thing about powder though, is like that's already arcane. We don't really know what's going on with, uh, with, uh, Lux, uh, Lux. <laughs> 
with Jinx in League lore. We just have to wait and see what they're gonna add and what they're not gonna add. Because Vi didn't really grow up with Jinx. In Arcane, she did. In Arcane, it's like Jinx and Vi and they're all being raised by Vander. Uh, but in League lore, Vi is basically an orphan. And uh, she's kind of like sisters with Jinx because they're like, not real sisters, but like, yeah. Ooh, we got the eye! Okay. Dude, no matter what I try to do, I, like, I can't escape this bitch. I'm gonna die here. Like, this is where I die. Do you think? Let! It doesn't end! The hub. Oh! Hey, Red, Axamander. You all right? Hey, Echo. We're totally fine. We were in the hideout when the spire exploded. Just came to see if there was any damage out here. Yeah, we've seen tons of scrappers gearing up to start sorting through the wreckage. It did some real damage to the city, but there's probably some good inventing materials that came from that spire. I hear the Poindestras have been hiring kids to do their dirty work. Not just that. I've seen some guards from Piltover walking around Entrasol today. I think they're down here on a secret mission. Oh, can't they just keep out of our city and mind their own business for once? Period. Maybe I'll have to go take a look at that spire damage myself. Echo! Don't you think you should be careful if there's Pilties and Poindestra prowlers around? Nah, Red. They've gotta watch out for me. I should check that my parents' apartment didn't get damaged. Then I'll see you two later. <laughs> Bye, Echo. They are so soft-spoken. The voice acting is so cute. Dear Z, I write to you in receipt of your last shipment. Firstly, I question if you remember my specifications or bothered to conform to them all. Do you... Uh, sorry. Firstly, I question if you remember my specifications or bothered to conform to them at all. Do you recall you were to operate discreetly and with an imbudence of caution, my wife was more than a little suspicious of the barrel at our doorstep. I have convinced her of the need for chemicals in the laboratory, but I cannot deceive her again. Secondly, the quality is passable, and following this letter, I intend for you to fulfill another order. I will caution you again that as of last month, the wardens have began enforcing trade restrictions in earnest. I won't have my name sullied by a needless slip up on my part. Lastly, it would do you well to remember where your funding comes from, especially if you intend to keep up your own trivial research. Don't write again unless you have the goods as specified. Cheers. A. Interesting. Z. Like Zeri? No. Is she? No. I don't think so. <clears throat> oh, Ellie! Those Poindestra twins evicted you after all? I always thought Drake and Vale were just socialites. But now that they're handling the family business, the way they treat regular people is messed up. Yeah, it's definitely weird. But Corin Revic helped me get us a new spot here. Corin so close Revic. to everybody now anyway. Awesome. Need any help getting set up? Nah, it's okay. <sighs> I've got to sort this stuff first anyway. Nice. Well, I'll catch you later, Ellie. Corin Revic. That's Oriana's dad. Hey, yo, that is there so cool. There's a bunch down here, that's for sure. Spire collapse or not, the day must go on. Speaking of which, it looks like Corin Revic needs some help. You've already stolen enough Stop, of Stop! No creation. way! Leave me alone! Ha! You couldn't catch us if you tried, old man. Is something wrong here? No. We're just, uh, leaving. But you'll be seeing us around, Echo. Who were they? Those twerps have taken my best clockwork figurines and hidden them all around Zon. I won't have anything to sell if this keeps up. I'll keep an eye out for them, Mr. Revic. Thanks, Echo. You're a good boy. I'll give you a few cogs for whatever you can bring me. See you. My heart. See you later. <laughs> if we see 
core in here. Does that mean that we'll see Oriana before she became a bot? And is this explosions that they're talking about has something to do with that? Because Ori basically sacrificed her entire humanity for the people of Zon and uh, her dad. Like, she went to the place where there was the explosions and she was helping people out with their technology, but she breathed too much of that toxic gas and her um, body parts started failing. And like, every time a body part failed, uh, her dad replaced it with, uh, with something mechanical. In the end, she was completely augmented besides her heart. And that's when her dad's heart started failing. And she wanted to use, uh, like she got Hextech, a, a Hextech crystal to try and use that. And eventually she used her own heart to replace it with her dad's heart. She gave her heart to her dad to keep him alive. And instead, she's like running on a hex set. So yeah, it's like really, really sad. And we love Ori very, very much. After keeping his daughter Oriana alive through a terrible case of long blight, Corin built her a new augmented body. When she disappeared to follow her fate, though Corin was left alone. Having spent his savings on her, he was forced to relocate his business, a clockwork toy shop, from Piltover into Zon. He has vowed to save his money up to return to Pilver Piltover and search for her. So this is after she got was augmented. Dad! Hey, Runs. Standing guard? On watch? Gotta stay vigilant, Echo. It's quiet now. But there were a few chempunk gangs running through here a while back. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I met some on my way here. There's clan pharaoh's guards from Piltover walking around Whoa. now, too. Can't stand seeing them act almighty in zone. You don't need to tell me twice. I've got no love for Pilties. We got no love Fair for enough. Pilties. Oh, hey, thanks for letting me borrow these. I love the voice acting so much. Also, clan pharaohs, uh, that's Camille's clan. Usually if they're in Zon, that's because uh, they, uh, they're looking for those Hextech crystals, or more like fake Hextech crystals, because they hold the monopoly on the actual Hextechs. Camille doesn't like competition, so she kills it. Yeah, uh. No problem. <laughs> They're fun, right? They certainly make getting around Entrasol easier. Hey, my inventions always do. See you later, Rungs. A spire owned by Kim Barons blows up. Some sort of sparkly orange compound makes super weapons. And now guards are coming down from Piltover? I don't like that. This might not be a typical day in Zon after all. Yeah, whoever is making this like weird ass crystals, uh, Camille is probably trying to find them and like get rid of them because they are fucking up her business. Ooh. Mom and dad are probably fine, but you never know in Zon. It wouldn't hurt to check in on them. Oh shit, okay. Cool. Okay, no, that's not how it works. Wait, what? Okay. Cool. My hands are so sweaty. Whee! Oh god. <laughs> We did it! Ah! Bye! Oh my god, I'm sweating so hard! <laughs> Those are some of the clan pharaoh's guards my friends were telling me about. Oh shit. What are they doing down in Zon? Is oh. the air in Piltover too fresh today? <laughs> Has to be the crystals! I didn't think it would rain today. Zon's renowned purveyor of fine confections and freshly baked delicacies. A loved one's name day, gift them your affection with Elin's 
famed sweetbreads, butterfly confections glazed with honey and sprinkled with candied nuts. Grueling day of hard work, sweeten your daily toil with honey cakes dusted with cinnamon and topped with a dollop of whipped Dunpour cream. Served warm. The gray got you blue. Escape into our bright, elegant tea room for a slice of sugar loaf and a steaming cup of sweet milk. Or might you be enticed by an exotic shroom and style spice sunbread? In a hurry or, or craving a noontime pick-me-up, we welcome you to our new location, a takeaway stall in the Boundary Market. Visit Aline's after she, the seventh bell and save yourself a cog with our special near closing hours prices only available on middle week at entrasol location that's so cute hey yo hey what are you doing here parents aren't home yet right what the hell do you want with my parents or me i'm here because i need your help <laughs> i don't help people who hide in gardens or spy on my dorito team. man get out of here or else <laughs> Slow down. Seriously? You've got to go. Oh my god. Take your time, kid. <laughs> He's such a fucking Chad. Cute. Father. <laughs> What do you know? I can't. When it comes to like those cocky protagonists with red capes, I'm so weak. Wow. Step lighter. Okay, cool. Is this your first fight? Oh shit. Can't do that. Oh, it's like a yo-yo. What do you know? Take it. Copycater increases the amount of gadgets Echo can equip at once. If you would just listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm you from the future. Wait, what? <laughs> I invent time travel? Why didn't you just say that? What are you doing here? Why'd you have a hood on? Because it was raining. And because I wasn't sure if you would trust me. I need your help. I'm here to investigate something in the past. The spire collapse? Mmm, smart. I was a bright kid. <laughs> What's going on? Is it something to do with the Poindestras? Or all the Pharaoh's guards I've seen around today? Echo! You home? <sighs> your parents mm. are home. Now is not going to be a great time to talk. Do you know the Watlick power plant? Yeah, sure. In factory wood. Closed down last year. Totally empty. <laughs> well, not for long. Meet me there, and I'll explain everything. Echo! See you soon, kid. Oh my god, the Chad walk. Better sleep. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got it! That's his apartment! Gadgets give Echo special perks and modify his current abilities when equipped. Echo can craft new gadgets at workbenches using rare parts found in chests throughout Zon. Okay, that's cool. Oh. How do I... crafted it once gadgets are crafted remember to equip them in the gadget menu okay equip. is that what's going to help me now run on those walls i think that's it ah <gasps> it's the oh my god it's his parents Hi. Ah, then there were three. Hello, little man. Oh, you're actually home before us for once. Don't get used to it. 
I'm glad to see you're both home and safe. We're so much younger here, Spire though. collapse was bad. Luckily for us, most of that spire fell in the decommission zone at Factory Wood. All we felt were a few tremors. But we got the rest of the day off work anyway. There's all this orange muck around. He's got a hearing I don't aid. know what materials the Poindesters are working with these days, but it's a mess now. It's a shame. The Poindester siblings are all that's left of that Kimbaran family. And I hear, they're not the nicest people either. I, I can't stick around, but you sure you two are okay? We'll be just fine. You take care of yourself out there, Echo. They look so much younger here, though. This is what his parents supposed to look like. They're like, a lot older. Like, his dad has glasses and like his mom is clearly older. So I wonder where this is from or like why they decided to make that change. So, Factory Woods closed from the spire falling on it and me from the future wants to meet up there. This is getting interesting. Okay, first, Wife and Ina. Oh, there's a note. Yo, Echo, how are you holding up? I went down to the sump. Blitz was in trouble again. Don't worry, I zapped the scrapers trying to blow him up for parts. Fix him up pretty good too. Just cause you're the genius doesn't mean I can't reattach a robot's arm. Also, your mom stopped by my mom's shop. I heard him talk about another potluck. I'll bring that ube ice cream you like. Anyways, my gun's been making weird noises. Ugh, guess you weren't right. I overcharged it too much. You're still offering to take a look? Maybe install that Omega Drive? Is that what it's called? To thank ya, I've been looking into that thing you asked. Still think we ought to focus on the, on the now. Still think it's a waste of time. Ha, <laughs> get it? Stop worrying. I'll keep trying, you just gotta get a better handle on my sparks. I'm not calling it bioelectricity after all this craziness blow over. Let's meet up. Z out. It is Zeri! Z is Zeri! Oh, that's so cute that their families are friends! So that's the spire. We need to go see. Then we have the entresol, and now we have the apartment. Enemies, we have plenty of those. God, I hate them. And then from the characters, we have future Echo. So Echo, but from a future Zon, he's integrated the Zero Drive into himself, invented some new temporal gadgets, and apparently has a fancy new arm. He has come back to the past to change something, and is looking for help from his younger self. Echo's parents, who work grueling jobs in Factory Wood, together they provide Echo with books, toys, and tools, and are proud of their son's adventurous, problem-solving personality. They remain unaware of his zero drive and his ability to rewind time, and Echo's happy to keep it that way for now. That is such a cute apartment. Also, that picture. That's so cute. Can I do that? Oh! Aww! That is so cute! I love how in her design she has a scar in her face, and he has hearing aids. It would make sense working in a factory. That is so cute. 